In the heart of ancient Egypt, amidst the shifting sands of time, a pharaoh emerged whose reign would challenge convention and leave a lasting mark on history. Welcome to our journey into the enigmatic world of Pharaoh Seth Peribson, a ruler whose story has captivated the imaginations of historians and archaeologists alike. Join us today as we unravel the mysteries surrounding this extraordinary pharaoh, exploring the secrets locked within the walls of his tomb and shedding light on a period that remains shrouded in intrigue. Through the fragments of inscriptions and artifacts bearing his name, we piece together the puzzle of Seth Peribson's reign, delving into the political, religious, and cultural transformations that marked his time as pharaoh. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our quest to unearth the secrets of ancient Egypt and other captivating chapters of history. Together, let's unravel the mysteries of Pharaoh Seth Peribson's reign and bring his story to the forefront of our collective fascination. I. The unusual titulary and name. One of the most distinctive features of Pharaoh Seth Peribson's reign is his departure from the traditional use of the Horus name in favor of adopting the name Seth associated with the deity Seth. This departure suggests a significant religious and political shift during his rule. The inclusion of Seth's name in the royal titulary is highly unusual, as most pharaohs of ancient Egypt utilized the name of the god Horus. Seth Peribson's name, therefore, signifies a departure from established norms and opens a window into the dynamics of his time. The name, Seth Peribson, is composed of two parts, Seth and Peribson. The first part, Seth, refers to the ancient Egyptian deity Seth, also known as Seth. In Egyptian mythology, Seth was a complex and multifaceted god associated with chaos, storms, desert, and violence. He was often depicted as a powerful deity with the head of an enigmatic creature, possibly an aardvark or a donkey. Seth had a significant presence in ancient Egyptian religion and mythology, and his worship and symbolism varied over time. The second part of the name, Peribson, is a personal name. It is believed to be an ancient Egyptian variant of the name, per i b sen, which translates to, the one who comes forth by his will. The meaning of this name reflects the belief that the pharaoh's rule and authority were bestowed upon him by the gods, and that he ruled with their divine approval. The Reign and Iconography Seth Peribson's reign is believed to have taken place during the Second Dynasty, which spanned from approximately 2890 to 2686 BCE. His rule introduced several reforms, including the standardization of administrative practices and the implementation of new iconography associated with the Seth persona. The Sarek, a rectangular enclosure bearing his name, was prominently featured on various artifacts and monuments. This distinctive symbol, resembling a palace facade, represents a departure from the traditional Horus name enclosure. Family Connections Though details about Seth Peribson's family are limited, some scholars suggest a possible familial connection to Pharaoh Kasekemwi, either as a son or grandson. Architectural similarities between Seth Peribson's tomb and Kasekemwi's tomb have led to this hypothesis. However, the exact nature of their relationship remains uncertain, and ongoing research continues to shed light on this aspect of Seth Peribson's lineage. Reign Duration Determining the exact length of Seth Peribson's reign is a challenging task due to the scarcity of historical records from this early period of Egyptian history. Scholars propose estimates ranging from around 10 to 20 years. However, without conclusive evidence, the precise duration of his rule remains a subject of debate. Versus Historical Events and Legacy While the specific events of Pharaoh Seth Peribson's reign are not well documented, his departure from the traditional Horus name and the introduction of the name Seth indicate a significant shift in religious and political ideology during his time. It is believed that he implemented reforms and made changes to the administrative structure of ancient Egypt, seeking to solidify his authority and differentiate his rule from that of his predecessors. The introduction of the Seth name in his royal titulary and the associated iconography likely had implications for religious practices and symbolism in ancient Egypt. The adoption of Seth, a deity associated with chaos and violence, as the central figure of his reign suggests a departure from the prevailing religious traditions centered around Horus, the god traditionally linked with kingship and order. The reasons behind this change and its impact on the society of the time remain subjects of scholarly debate and speculation. Succession and Reversal 
Following Seth Peribson's reign, the succeeding pharaoh, Kasekemwi, reverted to the use of the Horus name and restored the prominence of the Horus falcon in royal iconography. This change suggests a re-establishment of traditional religious and political practices. The reasons for this reversal and the nature of the transition between Seth Peribson and Kasekemwi are not clearly understood. Archaeological Discoveries the archaeological evidence related to Seth Peribson's reign primarily comes from the discovery of artifacts bearing his name, including seals, pottery, and inscribed labels. Notably, his tomb, known as Tomb P at Saqqara, provides valuable insights into his rule and the artistic style of his time. Archaeologists have uncovered fragments of inscriptions and architectural elements that offer glimpses into the burial practices and beliefs of Seth Peribson's era. Historical Significance Pharaoh Seth Peribson's reign holds historical significance due to the unique religious and political changes associated with his adoption of the Seth name. His departure from the established traditions of ancient Egypt's pharaohs provides insights into the complexities of ancient Egyptian society and its evolving religious beliefs. Seth Peribson's reign marks a distinct period of experimentation and ideological transformation, the understanding of which helps shape our understanding of the ancient Egyptian civilization as a whole. Iconography and Artistic Style The artistic style associated with Seth Peribson's reign exhibits notable differences from the preceding period. Artifacts from his era often feature unique iconography, including depictions of animals such as dogs and jackals. These representations may symbolize religious or political concepts that were significant during his reign. The distinct artistic style of Seth Peribson's time highlights the evolution of Egyptian art and its connection to the changing religious and political landscape. Ex-administrative reforms Seth Peribson is believed to have implemented administrative reforms during his reign. These reforms likely aimed to centralize and strengthen his authority as pharaoh. While the specific details of these administrative changes remain unclear, they indicate a conscious effort by Seth Peribson to assert his control and consolidate his rule over ancient Egypt. Historical Context Seth Peribson's reign occurred during the early Second Dynasty, a period characterized by the consolidation of centralized authority and the establishment of a more organized state structure in ancient Egypt. The political and social changes of this era laid the groundwork for the later stability and development of the Old Kingdom. The Enigma of Seth Peribson Pharaoh Seth Peribson's reign remains an enigma in ancient Egyptian history due to the limited available evidence and the unusual departure from traditional practices. The adoption of the name Seth and the associated religious and political changes raise intriguing questions about the motivations and circumstances surrounding his reign. Unraveling the enigma of Seth Peribson requires ongoing research, collaboration between Egyptologists, and the discovery of new archaeological evidence. The importance of ongoing research. Studying the reign of Seth Peribson serves as a reminder of the ever-evolving nature of our understanding of ancient history. Ongoing research, archaeological excavations, and the application of advanced scientific techniques continue to shed light on this enigmatic ruler and his significance within the broader historical context of ancient Egypt. Pharaoh Seth Peribson's tomb, known as Tomb P, is located at the Royal Necropolis of Saqqara in Egypt. It is one of the few archaeological remains associated with his reign and provides valuable insights into the burial practices and artistic style of his era. Tomb P is a subterranean structure constructed from limestone. The tomb consists of a shaft leading to a burial chamber, which was accessed through a narrow entrance. The burial chamber itself is modest in size and lacks the grandeur and complexity seen in later royal tombs. The interior walls of the burial chamber were decorated with inscriptions and painted scenes, although the fragments that have been discovered are limited. These scenes depict various religious and funerary motifs, such as offerings to deities, processions, and representations of the deceased. The artistic style of the tomb reflects the artistic developments and iconography associated with Seth Peribson's reign, including the presence of animal depictions, notably dogs and jackals. Archaeological excavations within Tomb P have uncovered fragments of pottery, seals, and other funerary artifacts bearing Seth Peribson's name and symbols associated with his reign. These artifacts provide valuable evidence for studying the material culture and religious beliefs of the time.
It's important to note that Tomb P has suffered damage and is not well preserved compared to some other royal tombs in Egypt. The incomplete nature of the tomb and the limited surviving inscriptions make it challenging to reconstruct a comprehensive picture of Seth Peribson's burial practices and the rituals associated with his burial. Despite its relatively modest size and condition, Seth Peribson's tomb at Saqqara remains an important archaeological site. Ongoing excavations and research efforts aim to uncover more information about the tomb and its significance within the context of ancient Egyptian funerary practices and the reign of Seth Peribson. The tomb of Seth Peribson, known as Tomb P, was discovered in 1898 during archaeological excavations at the Royal Necropolis of Saqqara in Egypt. The excavation was led by renowned French Egyptologist Jacques de Morgan, who uncovered the tomb while working on behalf of the Egyptian Antiquity Service. The discovery of Tomb P was significant as it provided insights into the reign of Seth Peribson, a relatively lesser-known pharaoh of ancient Egypt. The artifacts and inscriptions found within the tomb helped to confirm the existence of this enigmatic ruler and shed light on the religious and artistic changes associated with his reign. Since its discovery, Tomb P has been the subject of ongoing research and study by Egyptologists and archaeologists. The fragments of inscriptions, pottery, and other artifacts discovered within the tomb have contributed to our understanding of Seth Peribson's era and the broader historical context of ancient Egypt. The excavation of Seth Peribson's tomb, Tomb P, at Saqqara yielded several significant findings that provide insights into the burial practices and material culture of the time. Although the tomb was not fully intact and suffered damage over the centuries, archaeologists made important discoveries within its confines. Here are some of the notable findings. Inscriptions and labels. Fragments of inscriptions and labels bearing Seth Peribson's name were found within the tomb. These inscriptions helped confirm the identification of the tomb as belonging to Seth Peribson and provided valuable evidence of his reign. Pottery. Numerous pottery vessels were discovered within the tomb. These vessels included offering jars, storage jars, and bowls. The pottery provides insight into the funerary rituals and offerings associated with Seth Peribson's burial. Seals. Several seals bearing the name and titles of Seth Peribson were found. These seals were used for administrative and bureaucratic purposes, emphasizing the pharaoh's authority and the bureaucratic apparatus of his reign. Funerary artifacts. Various funerary artifacts were recovered from the tomb, including fragments of wooden models, ivory figurines, and decorative objects. These items reflect the artistic style and craftsmanship of the time and give glimpses into the funerary customs and beliefs of Seth Peribson's era. Wall paintings and decorations. The interior walls of the burial chamber were adorned with painted scenes and decorations, although many of these have not survived in their entirety. The surviving fragments depict religious and funerary motifs, such as offerings, processions, and representations of deities. It's important to note that the discoveries made within Seth Peribson's tomb are fragmentary, and the overall state of preservation of the tomb is not as well preserved as some other royal tombs in Egypt. However, the artifacts and inscriptions found within the tomb have provided valuable insights into the material culture, religious beliefs, and burial practices of Seth Peribson's reign. Further research, analysis, and potential future discoveries may continue to enhance our understanding of Seth Peribson's tomb and its significance in the broader context of ancient Egyptian history. As we conclude our exploration of Pharaoh Seth Peribson's tomb, we are reminded of the timeless allure of ancient Egypt. The mysteries we've uncovered and the fragments we've examined have given us a glimpse into the life and reign of a pharaoh who dared to defy convention. Join us in our ongoing quest for knowledge and discovery by subscribing to our channel. Together, we'll embark on more captivating journeys through time, unearthing the mysteries of ancient civilizations and delving into the depths of human history. Thank you for joining us on this extraordinary adventure into the reign of Pharaoh Seth Peribson. Until we meet again. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and let the wonders of the past inspire you to seek new horizons.